Hello and welcome back to Let's Build a Ship, Part 2, The Deck. So, we're building the weather deck today. I'm just going to start off by adding some vertical length uh, log columns to the top of the deck, just to give a bit of stability. Add one down the middle and two on each side. Now the first thing to do is add the mast placements, so we know exactly where they're going to be. And then we're going to add this mast, it's kind of like a horizontal mast on the front of the ship, it's called a bowsprit, and this will be used to hold the front two sails, the jib sails, just extending this further out. and this bowsprit has horizontal beams which are used to hold the rigging. Just extending that out at the top. Here's our main mast in the center of the ship. will be the tallest one. And then back here we're going to place our mitts and mast. This is to hold the mitts and sails. These go all the way down to the keel and will be fastened on in a later episode you'll see with uh, metal clamps, metal blocks just to give stability here I'm changing the normal dark sort of textured wood log into a brighter one just to give more contrast with the uh, blue lining around the edge and also to give a bit of colour to the whole the whole build. Here I'm extending extending the main mast up even further. I think that's about to uh, 50 high, 50 blocks high or so. In real life, you wouldn't find a ship with the mast this high in relation to the length. I mean, I believe the length of the ship from the front of the bowsprit to the stern is about 47 blocks. I come down to the head of the ship and add some steps just to get up. And then here, this is on the stern, on the top, on the deck, I'm adding the wheel. to steer the ship. A little step up there you saw, just to give some height for the ship's captain to stand on. And then along the side I'm adding wooden fence posts and wooden blocks as the railing to keep our ship's crew on board so they don't fall off. These wooden blocks are actually in line with the mast placement and I'm going to use them as fastening points for the main rigging that goes up to the masts. Now I just tried to see what the wooden blocks would look like in a different texture, a lighter wooden texture, but I didn't fancy that so I went back to the old one. Down here, on the keel, and the rudder, I'm just removing one block which helps to define the rudder from the keel. And then just above the rudder, I'm attaching a pivot point with metal railing, and that's going to be connected with hydraulics to the wheel. Like so.
now of course we need a way to get down into the ship to the lower decks so I began experimenting with different types of stairs failing with wooden doors and trying out ladders tried a trap door see if that would work that works quite well I do like that idea but I want it higher and I want there to be two doors I want there to be a top and a side I actually came down inside uh, into the lower deck just to put in the level that it was going to be it was about two meters high which is about the average height of a Minecraft person so you can just about stand up right down there and then I came up here and it ended up with my final design which utilizes the bottom half of a wooden door using a no physics snipe to snipe off the top half and a trap door on top and obviously failing there down here we find the gun ports this is what I was saying last episode I actually changed them to wooden doors so they could open from the inside and they look much better from the inside do the same to each side back on deck we're adding chicken or any animal cages because of course most ships are transported as well as uh, fort if they were battleships they did transport a number of goods perhaps not chickens on a battleship but uh, maybe something else here we're adding coils of rope or so they could be around the bottom of the masts and just uh, anywhere on deck really just to add a bit of clutter because decks in these days they weren't the tidiest of places you had to put the rope somewhere here I'm adding a bit of metal now a bit different from the normal wood and these will act as rope tie-off points when the ship comes to moor in the dock two at the stern of the ship and two at the bow you'll see here I've added a cabin with on top uh, there was two lifeboats and inside some sailing storage and then I'm adding a few bits of detail in the form of buttons buttons are always good bits of detail that could be used as bolts in this case I'm using metal blocks as larger bolts and then thickening the bowsprit just to give it that weight feeling of weight on the front because it's a very strong structure And there we go. The deck of our ship is complete. Next time, we're going to be adding sails. We're going to be putting the beams on our masts and exploring different types of sails that we can use to propel our ship forward and out into the ocean. I'll see you next time. <laughs>